Hi there, I'm the Sultan of Silver, and welcome to another episode of Beards Without Borders. I know it's been a while since we've done this. A very, uh, had a productive day today. <clears throat> Got a lot of work done. Roommate made a nice spaghetti and meatballs and sausage dinner. <clears throat> Had a big glass of red wine. Gonna get a good night's sleep. <clears throat> Getting my hair cut tomorrow. Tonight I'm puffing my homemade pipe. <clears throat> Put this light on here, maybe you can see better. Ah, let there be light. <clears throat> the homemade pipe. It's basically a Missouri Meerschaum legend that I just kind of cragified, texturized, sanded the top, sanded the bottom, and just put a Vermont freehand, oh, and kind of cragified the, <clears throat> the shank and put a freehand, Vermont freehand uh, bit, lucite bit. I like it. It's really one of my best smoking pipes now. Smoking <clears throat> tobacco called Connoisseur's Choice. See that? <clears throat> it's a Peterson's blend that I really I like all of their blends. Their blends all seem to work really well <clears throat> with the Sultan. But what is a Beards Without Borders without a little little dwink? Tonight the drink is uh, Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey. It's a honey liqueur. It's not fancy. It's a great mixer. Uh, it's not my favorite. I really do like the regular as a favorite. <clears throat> Just good old number seven. <clears throat> Isn't that funny that my the beard oil that I make is called number seven? <clears throat> That's interesting. Little Pennsylvania Dutch eggnog in there in the square espresso glass. Because we're just sipping tonight. Kind of like a little bit of a dessert. Let me just take a little sip real quick. Fantastic. Hey, this is for you, man. Beards Without Borders. <clears throat> Where's everybody from? I know from comments it truly is an international crowd. <clears throat> but where's everybody from? Put in the comments down below. Tell me where you're from. What city, what state, what country, whatever city or province you're in. It would be kind of neat to see that. I don't have the heater on. <clears throat> I ran it for about 10-15 minutes before I started the camera just to take a little bit of the chill out of this room. But it's been whistling and I think it's the jet so I need to take the grill off and maybe get a toothbrush or a wire brush and put it in there or something and just clean it out. I got study on how to do that. If you know how to clean the jet out of a little propane, portable propane heater, 
because it is whistling in all the <clears throat> everything that I read on the web said it's just that the jet or the nozzle or whatever they call it is a little bit clogged so that's uh, I'll be doing that but if you know what the deal is and I have it connected to a large you know like gas grill how big is the gas grill it's at a 30 pound I, I don't know I just exchange them when they run out And it's connected by a four-foot hose. And it's perfect. I've been out here when it's zero degrees, and it's it just gets all toasty. Hey, tonight, <clears throat> I'm wearing the roll neck sweater. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. I have to show it to you in the daytime. The roll neck is great because it, it's not a big collar. It just is high enough. It's higher than a crew collar, like a crew-type uh, sweater. But it's not a, it's not even a mock turtle or a turtleneck. It's, it's low, but it doesn't, me watch, when I turn the beard from side to side, it doesn't mess up the beard at all. A lot of times, a shirt, shirt collars will mess up the beard. So, And the gray wool cap on that I just kind of, it's, it's a looser fitting one, it's not as tight. I have other ones that are so tight that I feel like they're cutting off the circulation to my head. Filled up the lamps today, oil lamps. Got this one here that you're looking at. Then there's one about two foot above it, kind of like at the same level as the camera. With pie tins <laughs> to reflect the light down. A lit ceiling doesn't work. If this was a reflective ceiling, but the ceiling is just like this. It's just plywood and whatever those are up there. Looking at motorcycles. That's the beautiful thing about winter. There's no there's no impulse when the wet. It's like shopping for food when you're hungry. Looking, looking for motorcycles in the summertime is just torture. You could, you could actually make a bad decision because you want to get out on two wheels. And I overcame the temptation to get my next bike uh, in the fall because I would have what rode it for a couple weeks. So between now, because where I'm living. Now and next spring, I mean, it's going to be four months before I'm on a motorcycle, which drives me crazy. That's why I need to move south so I can have 12 months of motorcycle riding. Nothing thrills my soul more than just taking a ride on the bike. It's fun. We got a new president in the United States, president elect. Always looking forward to change. But I think everything will be okay. <clears throat> you know my opinion on White House stuff. Doesn't matter who's president, your prosperity is not going to change. Because you're whoever is in the White House doesn't affect your hustle. Somebody sent me a video of like an Indian guru, a guy that looked like me, kind of like this big white beard. And he was talking about depressed and suicidal people. I forget what the guy's name is. He was talking about depressed and suicidal people, of which I have been one of them. I mean, that's just part of my story is that I did suffer from depression. Uh, and I did have suicidal thoughts. And really, you know, that was a, a, a part of my life. Now it's nowhere near part of my life. 
but he said, hold your breath and plug your nose for two minutes. By the end of two minutes, the brain and the body are not thinking about the quote-unquote depressing situation, the divorce, the death, the grief, the layoff, the getting fired, the breakup of, of the relationship. All it's doing is it's fighting for air. So instantly, the only thing that the body and brain are doing is fighting for air and then breathe after two minutes. And it's amazing how you can change your state. And I'm not talking about the Tony Robbins changing of the state thing. But literally, physiologically, you are completely uh, creating a new priority in your life. And that's just to get air. I thought that was fascinating. i got to watch that again. And I'm not, I'm not a big Eastern philosophy guy. I'm a, I'm a Christian guy. And, you know, I'm willing to learn. I mean, I, uh, I thought that was fascinating. As someone who was at one time uh, just felt like he had a dark cloud around him and was chronically suicidal with an attempt, at least one known <laughs> attempt. Biggest thing in overcoming depression and suicidal thought, biggest thing is time. Let time go by. Promise yourself you're not going to do anything stupid or destructive. Here we are at the end of November, early December. We've got December, January, February, March. We have four months ahead of us of cold weather. I think out here right now it's about 30 degrees. It's just below freezing. And it'll get colder throughout the winter. can't start getting on a motorcycle till April. It no matter how how warm I dress. April. So we got a good 3 to 4 months of cold weather of heat, putting the heat on, let me put it that way. Did you hear the joke about the husband that said, Last night, I just kept dreaming of graham crackers. His wife said, Mm-hmm. He says, I also had dreams about marshmallows. She said, Mm-hmm. He said, and, I've had, and I dreamt all night about chocolate. Her reply was, I know, you kept me up with your s'moring all night. Get it? S'mores. <clears throat> I was watching a movie on Netflix called uh, <clears throat> The Lion in Your Living Room. It's about your house cat. I got six cats. I rescue animals. Mm, that's nice.
pipe's getting a little bit gurgly, so I'm just gonna. What kind of pipes do you smoke in your country? For those of you that enjoy tobacco and various other things, what kind of pipes? Are they briar pipes? Are they glass? Are they made of metal, clay? I have a clay pipe behind me right here. It's a 16 inch clay, they call it a tavern pipe. Some of you have seen me smoke this before. You hold it by the stem, not by the bowl, because the bowl will burn five layers of flesh off your fingers. It becomes very hot. And you puff away it like this. It's interesting. And the smoke gets cooled by the, the distance that it has to travel. That's kind of a, I'm kind of glad I bought that. I know a lot of people who want them. When I saw one, I wanted one. And I got it. And I'm glad that I did. It's just an interesting pipe. It's great to smoke certain tobaccos in. I happen to like Virginia tobaccos in the clay, the long clay pipe. Somebody's sending me a short pipe, too, that I'll probably do an episode on. A lot of you have started YouTube channels. I'm subscribing to as many as I possibly can. <clears throat> there, that's better. <clears throat> find that one of the side effects of the medication, I take a high blood pressure medication for the first time in my life, and I'm going to lose weight by next July. I'm a few months into it now. <clears throat> and a lot of that will bring my blood pressure down, which is a silent killer, as many of you know. But one of the side effects is that you always have a tickle in your throat and you're always, it's not a full, it's not a cough and it's not a clearing of the throat. It's just like a little <clears throat> kind of thing. And I find myself doing that more. So I can't wait to get off this medicine because I feel like about every five minutes I'm just kind of <clears throat> just doing that. more packages in the mail today. Probably going to have an episode next week of vaping with Penny. I like hanging out with my brother. He's my baby brother. I remember when he was born, I was... I used to change his diapers, believe it or not. manager of a seafood store. We have a good time. He's a man of few words. Not like his oldest brother, just a who can just put on the camera and just start talking.
but we do have an appreciation for pipes and cigars and nice drinks. Mainly whiskeys. We like whiskeys. Hanging out with my brother, <clears throat> exploring various leaves. We enjoy that. I bring him a different tobacco every time I go to see him. A different tin. I think I brought him last time. Did I have it here? Yeah, this. Sweet Killarney. I think I got him a tin of that. He said he really liked it. I've been vaping uh, various tobaccos, too, and I'm really enjoying that experience. It's not going to replace this, ever. It's just a different experience. <clears throat> so I have this, this cable-knit roll-neck sweater and the cap on, and the beard, and I definitely feel the diff. I feel my face feels cooler than, like the exposed face, feels cooler than what's underneath the hat and what's underneath the beard. It really does keep me warmer. Did you see my Instagram? I did a, uh, my latest Instagram. I did, kind of an Ebenezer Scrooge kind of picture. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. You know, having a pipe or a cigar with somebody and share, sharing a drink and just chit-chatting is kind of a nice experience. A lot of times people will enjoy their drinks, whether it be coffee or alcohol in a loud environment where there's loud music going on or loud sports. God forbid I watch any sports. I'm more of a music guy. And you can't talk. If you date somebody, why would you go to a loud bar where you can't talk? But I've done that too. Well, quiet yourself down. Have a pipe or a cigar, a little drink. No noise, no music, and just think. Think about things in your life. And you know what you like you know what you'll like about your life? is how peaceful it is when you just sit and think. Get somewhere quiet. You'll love it. Thank you for joining me. Peace be with you and the proper response is always and also with you. Have a good night.